What's up, you guys? Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm going to be showing you the best personal finance apps to be using in 2018. All right, so I've got three top picks. I'm going to have links in the description for each one, and I'm going to spend about two minutes talking about them. All right, so Acorns is going to be my first top pick. Now, this app has gotten really popular. It's been around since 2015. Basically what it is, it's an auto like robo advisor investing app. So it'll take like as little as five dollars at a time and it'll automatically put it into like a mutual fund, an ETF, or a, you know, a really low risk stock. Um, there's a couple ways to put money into it. So what's cool about this is that you can put it on a reoccurring basis. So right now I'm set to $5, but you can edit the investment to be as much as you want, which is cool. You can also do like a one-time, uh, you know, transfer, transfer, and then you can also link a card. So the linking card feature is pretty cool. Um, it does round up. So like I've used the example of Starbucks. So if you buy a coffee at Starbucks for $2.80, it rounds up to the ne nearest dollar uh, and it'll take that 20 cents and automatically invest it for you. All right, so I'm going to head back over to the home right here. And um, I just want to show everybody how cool it is. So there's a potential option on here that shows you, you know, if you invest a certain amount, we'll say on like a monthly basis, uh, we invest, um, we'll just say like a hundred bucks. So what's cool about this is, um, it'll show you at different ages, how much money you'd have if you did this every month. Now you can also change it to like the weekly, you can do the daily, but you kind of get the idea here. I, this is like a great, um, you know, starter, uh, investment app, but I think it's good for, you know, anybody who invests all the time too, cause it kind of just like mixes your game up and it'll, it's just like a different, um, a different way to do it. So anyways, Acorns is really cool. Uh, you can get like a free $5 too if you uh, click the link in the description and sign up. But, you know, I'm using it and I pretty much got it on, uh, you know, the auto um, investing uh, of $5 a week right now. But I'll probably change it in the future. All right, the next one I'm going to be showing everybody is one of my favorites and it's Robinhood. Now, I'm getting my butt kicked right now um, on this account. I don't have that much money in it. Only about $900, but... I'm actually down quite a bit of money on here. I think I'm down like 500 so far from what I've put in here. So anyways, Robinhood is, uh, you know, been around, I think since 2013, late or early 2014, there's over 5 million pe people using this app right now. And it's the first of its kind. So it's a uh, stock trading app that um, allows you to make stock trades without having to pay commission fees. So normally, like if you were going to go buy a share of uh, Facebook, for example, you'd click the buy option. Say you want to buy one share. Uh, normally, there would be a fee in here of um, you know five to fifteen dollars. So if you were using like E Trade, Fidelity, or Ameritrade, they all you know charge you to make stock trades. So you not only have to pay when you buy, but you also have to pay when you sell. Robinhood, you don't have to do any of that crap. So I mean, everything's completely free. Um, there's also some cool charting features on here. You could pull up, we'll say Facebook, Facebook for example. You can see like the price history by hovering your finger over it, um, and it's pretty cool. I mean, you get the five year. Now, this isn't going to be like super analytical, but I think Robinhood's great for beginners as well as people who are, are pretty much advanced, just because you know you can start with a little bit of money on here and really build it up because you don't have to pay any fees. You can even trade penny stocks on here. There's some other cool features of this app too. I'm pretty sure they have limit orders you can do on here so you can uh, do some of that as well. I'm not going to get too advanced with it, but um, you know, I think everybody for sure should have Robinhood. It's free. It's awesome. And uh, it's a great way to do some stock trading and uh, kind of learn the ropes if you've never really done it before and uh, you know, start buying some you know, stock assets. But even if you're like a somewhat professional, it's also good to mix your money up in some different accounts. So Robinhood's my next top choice. Now, the last one might be a little bit, um, you know, controversial, but I put Coinbase on here. Now, I don't have a lot of money in here. We're getting into the cryptocurrencies again. Uh, but, you know, I've done transactions on here recent of about $1,800. But what's cool about, um, you know, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is that it's kind of a new thing. It's like a new asset class and no one's really sure what's going to happen. But, um, you know, Coinbase is awesome because there's some really cool features on here. So they've got the four top crypto uh, currencies you can trade Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum and Litecoin. Uh, and there's also some alert settings on here. So like if you wanted to buy one of these at a certain price, um, you know, you could do that. So basically what you would do is uh, let's say you want to buy Bitcoin, but you're waiting for it to drop to a certain price. 
you could have it set an alert when it drops under 8,000 uh, and then you'll get an alert on your phone and then you could go ahead and buy some of this if you want. Um, as far as like you know, getting money in and out of here. It's very easy. You just connect your checking account to this and the fees are really small. It's like $11 or it's very small. So fee wise, um, this is, you know, nothing. And then the other cool thing about this is that, uh, you know, there's over, you know, 10 million accounts using this. I mean, this is one of the most popular Bitcoin wallets, but it's also one of the most popular trading platforms for Bitcoin in these other popular uh, cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cash, and Litecoin. But anyways, you know, if you want to mix things up, I think this is a really cool finance app to use Coinbase for sure. And I'm not throwing any of those like budget ones on here. I thought about throwing Mint uh, on here, but I didn't do it. I'm kind of just sticking with the ones that you can, you know, kind of make money with. And these are my top choices so i mean you should definitely have all three of these on any phone you're you know currently using you got acorns robin hood and coinbase you know they're all free to create accounts on i'll have links in the description for each one um if you could hit the like and share button on this video i'd definitely appreciate it anybody out there who is not subscribed hit that subscribe and we'll see y'all later